Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at about 17 tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A23. So if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you. If you enjoy the content, make sure you stay locked into the end of the video and subscribe. I encourage you to get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So today we're going to jump into the tips and tricks. Let's just jump into the first tip for the Samsung Galaxy, you know, A23. And this is going to be a really solid tip. It's going to help you for when you're taking a photo and you don't want to share that photo with other people. Okay. I okay, guess so for this feature, you're going to go into your photo gallery. And once you go into the gallery application, you want to hit the bottom corner right here and it's going to say settings. So just go ahead and hit this button where it says settings. And then you're going to see an option right here called hide content. Just go ahead and click that option right there. And this is pretty cool because when you go into hide content, it actually lets you hide dates, pictures, and videos taken on selected dates won't appear in selected created stories. And you can actually hide people and pets. So if you just wanted to do that, you could select the date that you would like to hide of the image that you took. You could also, uh, you know, um, take pictures, shoot videos and explore the world to fill your gallery. So it says right here, you could fill that up with different options, hide people, hide pets. If you click this option right here, it's going to take you to the option right here where you can add the content there. So all you have to do is hit the plus sign right here. And then it says, um, you know, what I mean, you'll be able to have all of that content hidden inside of this um, hide content folder. So that's the first tip for the Samsung Galaxy A23. Let's jump into the next one, okay? Basically just swipe up from the bottom and then you're gonna see three dots on the right hand top corner. And then that's when you would hit these three dots. So let me show you right now, hit swipe up, then hit the three dots right here and click settings. And then so once you do that, you're going to see something that says show recommended apps, but make sure you uncheck that. Okay. All right. So after you uncheck that, you're going to see that there's no more apps down here. So if you didn't want to have those apps appear on the bottom, you can easily remove them at your own um, leisure. So I think that's something that's pretty cool. Okay. So that's the second tip for the Samsung Galaxy A23. Let's jump into the third tip right now and um, let's just, just jump right into it. So this is basically how you can open your pop-up window. And I know this is gonna be really cool because uh, this thing will allow you to basically get everything um, shrunken on your screen. So basically you would just swipe up right here and you can actually find a window that you wanna um, hover over another window and for this one i'm just going to use i don't know i'm going to open up i'm going to open up facebook right now okay and then i'm going to swipe up from the bottom right and then after i do that what i'm going to do is long hold right here and you can see that you have an option for the pop-up window okay but if you if you didn't want to hit that extra option you could just long hold from the center and like leave your finger right there and it's gonna you just drop it right there so you could easily just drop it right there and then you could shrink it you could do anything you want but it's pretty cool because that's a sick, a sick way to get to your most um pop-up window feature so that if you want to just hover over something else you have the ability to do so you could also turn translucent so that you can kind of see what's underneath it at the same time you can go into twitter and this is still going to be over top of it and then you can actually click right here again and then make it appear so you could actually just this is really cool if you're doing multitasking maybe you're like trying to type in a password or a number while you're looking at something else this is going to be really good for that so i like this feature a lot especially for multitasking okay now the next feature is the reminder widget for grocery list so basically you want to go to your widget section okay and this is where we're going to go right here and we're going to long hold the screen and we're just going to click widgets and then we're going to go down below and this is pretty cool because you can go to right here to reminders and then just drop down and now you can see you have reminders to do not only like um you know conference calls or you know homework or 
cleaning you have the four by two option and then you have the you know two four by two options so let's click this top one here and you're going to go ahead drag it onto the screen so then whenever you have something that you want to remember that you have to do you click the plus sign okay and this is going to be you're going to actually type in the, the memo name so groceries or something like that and then you just type in the time right here and then you could put an hour from now repeat or not repeat the place okay and then you can click settings and then at it's going to ask you to do location right so make sure you allow that because once you allow that then you can actually go right here and just say you know while using the app or you could do allow all the time so i'm going to just do allow all the time okay because that's going to be pretty cool and then when you go back now you can actually save the reminder and um it'll be right there grocery list right on your home screen so you'll have the reminder save and it's pretty cool because it's going to allow you to remember certain tasks and things that you have to do throughout the day so i definitely think that's an, a solid feature for people who like to be reminded maybe you're running a business or maybe you have clients that you have to follow up with you can easily set time dates and locations for when those events are happening right so the next thing we're going to be talking about is how to share your location and basically what you would do is go inside of the widget app one more time because this is going to be pretty cool because it's going to allow you to you know um share your location with someone so you basically go to widgets and then you go to maps right after you go to maps okay just click right here and then you're going to see something that's pretty sick it's going to say share location you just want to put this right here on your home screen so that whenever you need to do so you have that option so just click that okay and basically where you are right now you can actually click this button and it's going to say share your real-time location with friends and family they can see where you are and share with you across google maps and services your location is updated even when the app is not in use so then you can actually share that off to your friends or you know just just in case you want to meet up with somebody you would hit this button right here and then it's going to bring up my location on the map so i don't want to show that because then it's going to bring up my location on the map or whatever but it's going to show you real time and then you have an option right here to choose the uh, amount of time you want it to be set for okay so you can see right here it's set for an hour or you can increase that right here two hours three hours to, until t t until i turn it off indefinitely and then you can go ahead and um it has right here you can add share that in the messages gmail email anything you want you could share it as a link right here you could click that button and share it as a link so based on what you want to do with it if you're trying to meet up with somebody and they don't know where you're at they can easily follow you through google maps i think that's something that's really solid for when you're doing a meetup or you just want to know where your kid is or something like that you could easily find them with the share your location app okay so the next feature we're going to talk about is the magnifying widget and this is most of these are pretty useful because a lot of the times widgets are very helpful okay but basically this is pretty cool it's called the magnifying app and you want to long hold this here and just put it on your screen right because once you do so let's say you're having a hard time reading sometimes maybe you forgot your glasses at home and you're at work and you can't read this is going to help you read things right here it's going to get you wow that's really close up and then you could even take a picture of it right so now you have a you know an image of that you could actually download that right here to your gallery and it's saved right here now to your gallery but basically if you forgot your glasses at home or maybe you're at work and you're having a real hard time because you forgot them at home and you need to finish the day with work you could actually use the magnifier app to basically help you finish work your shift or whatever so that you're not completely like asked out if you forget your glasses or something like that so i think that's something that's pretty cool now another cool widget that we're going to be talking about is the step counter widget okay and basically all you have to do is go right here where it says you know widgets one more time okay go right there and then what you want to do is you're going to scroll down to uh this option right here i don't think it's digital well-being but it's basically going to um track your steps i think it's right here where it says samsung health you want to drag this widget down here 
and then you want to click the here right here so you can activate it and then you're gonna have to sign into the Samsung health application but if you're the type of person who likes to take long walks and you just want to track that activity that you had over a long period of time and just kind of you know set goals for yourself you're gonna have the ability if you don't have a smartwatch you can e easily track that information from your smartphone as long as the smartphone is on your person right so I definitely think that's a solid feature as well so you know another really cool feature that you want to take advantage of is how to hide you know you know you know um apps from you know what i'm saying so this is going to be another cool feature and this is going to be from the home screen so basically you just want to click right here where it says um, long press right here and then go into the settings right here okay now once you're inside of the settings right here you're going to see right here it says hide apps on the home screen right here so you just click that and let's say you're using an app you're not supposed to be using and you're trying to hide it from a significant other or a kid or like a family member you could easily just you know what i'm saying hit that so maybe i don't know like uh maybe you, you wouldn't want someone to know you have netflix on your phone or something just click done so basically when you when now when you try to find that 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 you know what i mean that app it's not going to be on the app tray no more so basically to get out of it, you go right back in there. You just go to hide apps and then you can basically remove it from the hidden app list. So I think that's pretty clutch because a lot of times people are pretty secretive nowadays. So if you're that type of dude or person or chick that likes to, you know, what I'm saying keep a secret lifestyle, there's nothing wrong with that. Privacy is everything because especially with social media and everything going around rampant but that's a really solid feature i think is pretty solid that you may like now if you're enjoying the video so far and you feel like this is very helpful make sure you hit the like button show your support and appreciation as well as leaving hashtags i'm still here so i know you're still rocking with me in the comment section right now okay so without any more talking let's jump right back into the next tip okay and this is going to be swiping down from your notification panel right so you want to be able to swipe down from the notification panel and this is really solid because you could do it with your fingerprint by going into this option right here where it says uh, advanced features well, after you click advanced features you're going to go to motions and gestures okay and then you're going to hit fingerprint sent gesture uh, fingerprint sensor gesture and then right here you want to turn this on and I turn that on all the time because now I could easily swipe down from the side right on my fingerprint or swipe down from here so if you just wanted to activate it from your home screen or okay you could go to home screen right here click settings click home screen and then right here where it says swipe down from notification panel just activate that or if you don't want to have it there you could deactivate it but you have two ways to swipe down now from the notification panel which i do use all the time because this device is pretty tall 20 by 9 aspect ratio so it's good for typing but it's really tall so it helps you when you want to actually you know what i'm saying get to that feature now another thing is the one-handed mode you just swipe down from the bottom and then you could easily get to your one-handed mode so those are some really cool features just in case you want to use your one hand maybe you have a, a, a soda or some, something in your hand that you're munching on like a piece of food or something it's going to make it a lot easier for you to type and use your phone at the exact same time you feel me so the next feature we're going to jump right into that i really like is how to remove the google feed because this is an important feature you just go ahead um you're going to see you long hold the screen real quick and then swipe all the way to the left and then this is where you're going to see right here it says on google feed or you can actually do the samsung O option and then when you do the samsung option right here if you swipe across now to the left you're going to notice that it does have some new features right here that you will have to agree to and basically you just click continue because that all of that is optional but you'll get you know you can read different news on here and you can actually click play and it's going to have instant things that you can download like you can download these quick games and play them solitaires on here you have a ton of features that you can mess around with right so i just really like this part about it instead of if you didn't want to have that on there you can easily just remove that right by clicking right here swiping to the left and then just turn it off completely 
And now one of the things you're going to notice is your phone might even run a little bit quicker. So I just wanted to throw that out there, okay? So that's another really helpful feature that I think is going to be worth it if you check it out, right? So the next feature we're going to talk about is the dynamic lock screen. Now make sure you stay locked into the end of the video because the best ones are coming up, okay? So the next thing you want to do is just go into the option where it says settings. Then you want to go to um, wallpapers and styles. Actually, it's not in wallpapers and styles. Actually, yeah, it is. Then you click lock screen and wallpapers services and this is where you're going to click the gear icon right next to it and you're going to add you know animals lifestyles food anything that you do so desire you can uncheck them at any moment after you've downloaded them landscapes plants so basically you can only select five at a time and then basically you have this button right here where it says um you could you could search for more basically right here inside of your you know, I mean, the marketplace, if you did want to purchase more of those, you do have the ability to do so. But what it's going to do is give you a new lock screen. Every time you unlock the phone, you're going to see something sick, right? Every single time. And I just activated the double press flashlight feature. This is actually the side key feature that I showed in the tips and tricks last video. So I'll leave that right here, okay? But the next tip we're going to jump into, and if you're enjoying the video so far, say salute in the comment section and hashtag so that I know you're still rocking with me and um, kicking it with me, okay? So the next feature we're going to pretty much jump into when we're almost done, we only have a few more features, okay, is the notification sound. So a lot of people don't really like the notification default sound on the samsung devices so what you might want to do is just go into the sounds and vibrations right here okay and you can easily go right here where it says dance and retro and you can select a different sound right so i don't know if you could hear that or not but basically it's going to provide you with a ton of of different sounds that you can choose from i have my phone on uh like you know i mean like it's not it's not letting me hear it out loud but these are all the different ones that you have to choose from there's a long list of features and if you have an mp3 on your phone you could easily hit this button right here where it says plus and add your own as well so i definitely think that's pretty cool it also has this one where it says play selected highlighted highlights only and then you could go ahead and pick the, the sound or anything like that you have uh, a few different features here to choose from, but if you did have something downloaded on your phone, it would allow you to actually, you know, you know, use that feature as well. So that's another really solid feature. You can want to change your ringtone on here and I can't, I can't hear them for some reason. Maybe my phone is on do not disturb or something like that. It's probably, yeah, it's on do not disturb. So turn off do not disturb on your phone. <laughs> that's that's a solid uh, ringtone so just turn off do not disturb and then you'll be able to hear the ringtone at your own leisure okay so the next feature and we're, we got two more features and then we're going to wrap up the video so the next feature is notification vibration so basically you go right back to where you were before where it said you know the sounds and notification vibration is going to be pretty cool because you're going to get um the, the phone will allow you to vibrate It'll ring and it'll vibrate as well. And you can also adjust the volume right here for your ringtone. So like if you if it was low, you could keep you could change it. You could also hit the volume rocker right here on the side. And when usually when sometimes when you hit the volume rocker up and then click the three dots here, you could easily, uh, you know, um, change the uh you know the settings to the volume but i do have do not disturb on so it won't let me do it right now but i think that's a solid feature that if you want to change the uh sound you have that ability right here for the ringtones and stuff like that and you could also use volume keys for media or not so that's another solid feature that i do like about this device because if you want to actually change the sounds and vibrations as well on here you could do so so basically you just go right back here and then you can control the vibration haptics on this device as well so you basically go right back here you could see right here it says ringtones notification sounds galaxy uh, system sounds so you, unless you turn off do not disturb you won't be able to hear that you also have your different call patterns right so you get 
this is the different you can actually click these and i'm feeling a different vibration play around with this one real quick you'll see what i'm talking about it's, it's giving you a different vibration for each one i really like that feature so it's going to give you a different vibration and then you can control the vibration haptics um, intensity or right here which is pretty cool go down to sound effects and you got your equalizer as well and i think that's pretty solid if you want to mess around with that you can also adapt the sound to your own age group or anything like that so you got to do the hearing test as well so that's pretty much um everything i had for you in this video but if you found this video helpful in any way possible um hit the like button show your support by um subscribing and getting notified and make sure you watch another video right after this one because i made it just for you but um i'm gonna wrap up the video right now i'll get right back with you but i'm gonna show up in the comment section answer all of your questions right now and um, I'm going to check you guys later, but make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending where you are, have a great night. Later, crew. Peace.